I want to spend a little bit of time talking about hand positioning when you're handling the UE needle. Um, this is for the context of doing a paracentesis. And, you know, it, it, the UE needle is very, very useful for something like a paracentesis. And what you can do is you can hook it up to a syringe. Um, if you want, this can be lidocaine. Um, so you have, you know, your UE needle, the needle's there, the catheter uh, that slides off is, is there as well too. So we have that all ready to go. Let's say we have it on um, our syringe that's filled with lidocaine. The advantage of this is that we can give lidocaine deeper up until we kind of drain the ascites to numb up the patient. Um, but you know, it's important to be mindful of kind of your hand positioning because you're going to be doing a few different things. So number one, you kind of have to decide, are you going to use ultrasound in real time or not? Uh, for this particular video, we're going to go over hand positioning considerations when you're not using ultrasound. Advantage of ultrasound is that you can see where your needle is. However, the disadvantage is that it, you lose one of your hands and it's a little bit harder to, to kind of manage this apparatus here. So let's say you've done a good job scanning. You know the depth that you're going to go uh, to kind of pop into the collection of ascites. What you need to do is um, kind of, you know, hold your, your UE needle system here. And you, depending on what you're doing, if you're going to be giving lidocaine, you want to just hold it in a position where you can depress the plunger. And then you can use your other hand to you know, brace on the patient's kind of whatever orientation you're most comfortable with, but brace on something solid. And then what you can do is just advance with your desired trajectory. And then you can give lidocaine. So, you know, we can depress the plunger, give lidocaine. But then what you're going to want to do as you advance is also be comfortable um, coming back to bring up the plunger to see if you aspirate any collection. So you can hold your hands in a variety of positions if you want to kind of, you know, give lidocaine like this and then switch to go like that, that's fine. Alternatively, if you want to give lidocaine like this and then, you know, try to aspirate by bringing your thumb down here, that's also okay. You're going to have to do whatever is comfortable and works in your hands. Um, so ultimately what we're going to do is, you know, keep advancing, giving lidocaine, aspirating, giving lidocaine, aspirating. And then once we actually aspirate back ascites, we want to make sure that we hold everything very, very still and that we just feed off the catheter without moving the needle like so. And that's what's so advantageous about having this other hand not occupied with ultrasound is that you can feed off the catheter like so and not have to worry about um, handling the ultrasound with your other hand. So that's just a few considerations. Ultimately, what you want to do is be very comfortable with understanding how the U needle works and how in your hands you're going to be giving lidocaine, aspirating, uh, depending on how you're doing the case.